So it's Saturday, May 7th. Figured we'd get one last shot of the uh, lake level at 103.2 feet, which we hope is the uh, absolute maximum. Get a shot here so we, uh, we probably won't believe, be able to believe this in a month or two months that the water was this high, but there's the boathouse deck. Benches covered up to the lower, to the seat level. The lake covered the entire deck all the way through. Spirit of Ethan Allen had to build their own ramp to be able to get to the boats. There's the Spirit of Ethan Allen dock. There's the sidewalk that's normally a sidewalk. And you can see through there is about a, I don't know, we're about five or six inches worth of water. All the way over to Echo, where normally that's that bulkhead in front of the Echo is about four or five feet, six feet exposed uh, uh, steel, a steel bulwark in the front there water all the way up to the, practically to the circle. So um, that's what 103.2 feet looks like. It's unbelievable. Looking forward to uh, this being peak day, or maybe yesterday being peak day and the water level start to come down. So fortunately, not a super windy day either. So, um, and one of these days there'll be boats out there. There's not a boat moving on the lake, practically. Uh, a bit dangerous with the uh, amount of debris that's out there. Um, that's washed up, but the amount of debris that's out in the lake is just staggering if we can see it from our house. Uh, and uh, in any event, so that's it, May 7th. Hopefully, the end of the line for uh, a rising Lake Champlain. And uh, one of these days soon, we'll see some a little more shoreline and we'll get our, we'll get our waterfront back. That's it.